love with someone who shouldn't have. One, two, three, four. Fast, funny and occasionally furious, Pete Shelley's music with his band The Buzzcocks was a blast of fresh air and inspired a generation to pick up a guitar and have a go. Shelley and the band were innovators. Their self-financed 1976 Spiral Scratch EP is arguably the first ever indie record. It was a revolution for us. I remember that record turning up at school with his fair, very simple black and white sleeve, and it looked like somebody made it themselves because they had, and that changed our whole idea of how you can make music, release music, and how you could be in a band. One, two, three, four. And it was Shelley who got the Sex Pistols to Manchester for two gigs that inspired members of Joy Division, The Smiths and The Fall, to form their own bands and write their own music. We had this feeling between us that we wanted to do something which was entertaining and exciting and actually meant something. We didn't want to be the same as everybody else. But also it was different because, because we were different. What do I get? He's one of the most talented songwriters this country's ever produced. Every single Buzzcock song, so catchy, but so unexpected the twists and turns in it. Fantastically artful as well. They never did anything um, simplistic. Everything's very cleverly done. Buzzcocks were an, an incredibly influential band. Uh, musically, they were a big influence on me and the lads in the farm, um, and most bands I can think of. They were kind of, in a way, a bit like the punk Beatles. There were very few bands that had a run of singles like Buzzcocks. just going to be there forever, he's, going to be, he's always going to be that young 21 year old bloke that was on top of the pops, you know, it's just um, iconic, you know what I mean? And a good soul as well, that's always nice with these, uh, these rock star types, they've got a good soul and, and he did have, that's a lot, that means a lot. So yeah, Pete Shelley, R.I.P.